Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Watts versus Shirell. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mrs. Watts, you are here on behalf of your deceased son, Alex, who was tragically murdered just a few months ago. I'm very sorry for your loss. You stand here on his behalf because you doubt he fathered the defendant's 20-month-old son, Caden, and you have asked for a DNA test to determine the truth. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Shirell, you say that you are 100% sure that Ms. Watt's son, Alex, fathered your baby, Caden, and you are here to prove it. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Watts, describe to the court how difficult this situation has been for you. Um, it's been very difficult um, over the last six months. I was called, received a phone call to come to a shooting where they said that my son was involved. When I got there, I didn't know at the time that my other son was there as well. Um, my two sons went to visit a friend who had some type of altercation with some gentlemen prior to my sons coming to visit their home. And when my two sons got there, they were ambushed and murdered. Oh, um, oh I'm so sorry. When I got to the scene, my older son, Louis, he was still at the scene. He died on the scene. He was covered with a sheet. I was told that my son, Alex, had been taken to the hospital in critical condition. When I got to the hospital to see um, Alex, he had passed. He had died on arrival. Oh, dear um, God. The only thing I could do was, you know, grab my son and hold him to my, my heart. And so this, this, is, this has been very difficult for me. I am so very sorry. And now, in addition to that absolute unbearable tragedy, we have a paternity situation. Yes. Where you have now had to live with a doubt as to whether or not this beautiful little boy, Caden, is in fact your grandchild. Yes. Ms. Shirell. Yes, Your Honor. Can you tell the court the nature of your relationship with Mr. Stewart, Alex? We were in love. Every time you've seen Alex, you've seen me, you've seen him. You've, like, we were always together. We planned on having a family together, having that future together. But fortunately, it was cut short. How Here long have, were you in the relationship? Three years on and off. Okay. And so, Caden is 19 months old? Yes. Yes. And so, he did get to know his father. Yes. The man you say is his biological father before he passed away. Yes. And what was their relationship like? The relationship was like a father and son bond relationship. They were like two peas in a pod. Alex loved Caden to death. Ms. Sherelle, you submitted a video of Caden and Alex, which you say shows the nature of their relationship. Yes, Your Honor. And you submitted that to the court. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, just like you don't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> you mad at me now? <laughs> you wanna annoy me? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> oh. So, in your mind, as you see that, it's your feeling that he accepted this child as his own. Yes, Your Honor. He did accept Caden as his own. To him, Caden was his child. Blood test or not, Caden was his. Does that mean that there is a possibility that Caden is not Alex's biological child because you said blood test or not? No. I'm saying that because, you know, everybody has said their words and everybody feels some type of way about when it comes to Caden being Alex's child. I say blood test or not because to Alex, he didn't care to get a blood test. He, to him, Caden was his child. Well, the issue was my son had went away for some time and before he went away, he told me that Alexis was pregnant. And I guess this was during the time that they were on their breakup. He was involved with someone else. And then when she had Caden, I said, Miss Caden, Alex's, and she said that she didn't know she needed a DNA test. She sent it to me in a text message. Do you have that text message? I do. 
Jerome, would you grab that evidence for me, please? Thank you. This is a text message between you and Ms. Sherelle. Yes. And you ask, question, are you pregnant by Alex? And Ms. Sherelle responds, I don't really know, I don't believe so, but at this moment, I don't know, I have to get a blood test. That was my response because I told Alex I did have a one night stand with somebody and cheated on him. I told him in the beginning, um, I want to say a week or two after I had the one night stand, I took an at home pregnancy test and I found out I was pregnant. I know it takes a little longer for the at home pregnancy test to detect the pregnancy, so I did say I didn't know because I know what I did and Alex knows what I did, but I also do believe he is because he, you know, I know what happened and I know at the time when it happened. So, Regardless of what Alex believed, wanted, desired, there is, in fact, real reason to have doubt mm -hmm. because you admitted to that. Right. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. Alex did want to keep the whole pregnancy a secret. He, not, he did not want nobody to know about the pregnancy. Or Why is that? He, Alex was a secretive person. He did not like people in his business. And at the same time, I didn't tell my family I was pregnant either. So we both decided to keep this a secret. He was a private person. And so you can see how your son may have said, let's keep this to ourselves? He was private about other people being in his business. I know him and I had a good relationship and he talked with his stepdad a lot. After she had the baby, um, Alex and her had got, gotten back together. The baby was like two months old. He came to the house a few times with her and the baby, but he never said, this is my child. But he cared for the baby as if it was his. Does he have other children that he claimed he has outwardly a... that this is my child? Yes, he has a daughter. I was there when his daughter was born. Were you there when Caden was born? No. Why? I didn't I tell nobody when I was in labor with Caden, Your Honor. And so, okay. Alex wasn't there either? No. No, yeah, and Alex didn't see the baby for two months. So, what's interesting is in the court papers, I see Caden's birth certificate. On the birth certificate, there is no father's name listed. Caden's last name is not your last name, and it's not Mr. Stewart's last name. No, Your Honor. I gave him a friend of mine's last name only because I have a... To me, I have a female's last name. I didn't want to give him a female's last name. And when the time came for me and Alex to get a blood test, I told him, we can go down to the court, we can pay, and we can get his last name changed, no problem. Why not give him Alex's last name? If you knew without a shadow of the doubt that he really was the father. Um, I may have had a little doubt in my mind. I just didn't want to make a mistake. I'd like to hear from your witness. Sir, would you please stand at the podium? State your name for the record. Gregory Watts. Mr. Watts, you are Mrs. Watts' husband. Am I correct? Yes. And so you would be Alex's stepfather. Yes. In her testimony, she talked about the fact that you had a relationship, a very good relationship with Alex. Yeah, we always hung out and did stuff together, you know? And he never talked about no babies or nothing. It was always... It was like... It's, all this is new to me this year. Mm. Oh, wait, so you... I don't even... He's never even met me before. Like, I, we've I never know even you. met face-to-face -face for him to be able to say... have a say-so on that. I'm talking well, about no. what Alex said. He never said nothing about no baby. If somebody got a child, they gonna say, well, this is my baby. Here, mama, look. Look at my baby. So, uh, when you all would have your father's son time, when you would talk, he never mentioned, I have a baby on the way? No. None of that. I just... I just started seeing pictures like this. I'm like, well, he got a baby. And I'm like, wow, when, when did this happen? And so you say he has another daughter. Alex has another daughter. Yes. When that child was born, or was he definitive in saying that this is my child? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because we keep our granddaughter 
you know, some... But Alex some also got a blood test with his daughter also. They did get a blood test with her, too. And it was determined that he was the biological exactly. father. Exactly. So, of course, he's going to claim her because he got the blood test to know exactly sure. But you said my, that his position was, was blood test or no sequel. blood Alex test. didn't want his no, no, no. family or my family to know nothing about this. But but why is the point? Alex is a secretive person. I couldn't but he wasn't you, secretive about the first child. Thoughts. I couldn't really tell you his thoughts of as to why. I know, as on my part, I kept it a secret because I, I was a single mother of two other daughters at the time. I stayed with my mama. I know my mama was gonna be disappointed. She didn't want me having no more kids and I still stay in her house and I'm not stable enough to be out on my own and take care of my own kids, you know? Exactly. So it was like a secret. I think because I kept it a secret from my family, he just was like, all right, we're just gonna keep it a secret from everybody. Let's not let nobody know. But how long can it be a secret because now Kaden is here? Yeah. Well, after Kaden got here, everybody seen Kaden. <laughs> so when she was pregnant, he never brought her around. Actually, Alex had left. Um, he was gone for like seven months. Okay. Um, and I think she may have been a little angry with him because he had moved on with someone else. Okay. So, Ms. Sherelle, since the time of Alex's passing, have you brought Kaden around to Mr. and Ms. Watts' home? No, I have not took him over there. And why is that? He's he's almost two years old. It's not really, like, a real reason why. I just don't have transportation to go back and forth from the east side all the way to the west side. I don't have a car, so it's hard to get a ride to go back and forth. I feel like if she did want to see Kaden, she has a car. You know, she could have came and drove to visit Kaden and see him. Ms. Watts, why is it that he never went to pick her up or spent time with Kaden? Because, you know, for the past six months, we have been going through so much. Yeah. And I didn't want to open that door mm -hmm. and get attached to the baby and then find out that he may not be his and then it'll be like I'm losing my son all over again. Yeah. So, the court was able to obtain a photo of Caden and Mr. Stewart. This is a side-by-side -side photo. You can see, like, their face is exactly the same, the way his face is shaped, them teeth, that box forehead, them eyeballs, that nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole thing. That's, that's Alex all over again. And so he felt like he saw himself. Yes, he did, Your Honor. When you look at that picture, Ms. Watts, how do you feel? I don't want to get any attachment if it's not my son's child. Yes. Um, I think he's a beautiful little boy. And, and I just want to be sure. I don't know. I would love to prove to everybody that Alex is the father of my son. And so, Caden can have his father's side of the family in his life, Alex's brothers, to give him that manly figure that he can't get from Alex no more. You know, I would love for that. I think it's time we get the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Alex Stewart, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Lita Watts. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Caden, and Lita Watts. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Watts versus Sherelle, when it comes to 20-month-old Caden, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Lita Watts and Caden is 0.006%. You are not related. <laughs> Alexis, I have to ask you, do you know where Caden's biological father is? No. I haven't talked to that guy since I got back with Alex. <laughs> I know this was not the news you wanted, but I do believe you knew somewhere deep down inside that this was a very real possibility. It's just that 
relationship Alex had with Kaden. It was like Alex to Alex. Alex knew Kaden was his son. Alex took that picture himself, laying on the bed, like, come on, Kaden, let's say cheese. <laughs> like, to Alex, this was his son. <laughs> Kaden does have the right to know <laughs> his biological father as well. And even though you will always have those memories, you can tell him growing up that there was an amazing man who loved him and cherished him and treated him just like he was his own. <laughs> but you have to also do the work necessary to make sure he has the opportunity to know his biological father and do this sooner rather than later. He's just 20 months old now, 19 months old now. This is good. He can be in a position, if you do the right thing, where this can be behind him before he has the opportunity to know any of this happened, right? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. and Ms. Watson, I'm <laughs> very sorry for your loss. Thank you. I know this is difficult. And I know in many ways there was a part of you that thought this could potentially be another piece of Alex that he left behind. And I'm sorry that I was not able to give you that answer today, but I am. I'm pleased that I could give you the truth because you need that. Yes. Yeah. I wish you the very best of luck. Please go talk to Dr. Jeff. Take advantage of the counseling and the resources we have for you and take care of that beautiful little boy and your other children, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. Court is adjourned.